Hello, Holly here from Let's Plan. I'm here showing you how you would download one of your 80 covers using the Safari browser on your iPad. My covers are stored in Dropbox and you need to know what browser you are using to follow along with my videos. So double check what browser you're using. If you're not sure, go ahead and look for the browser, um, how to find out what browser you're using tutorial link back on your planner access page. So you will find that out and then you come here to your planner. Now do uh, download your planner first. Don't do this without your planner being loaded because you won't know where to put your cover. So download your planner, check what browser you're in and then continue. So you'll come to this PDF page. That's one of your options with your Etsy purchases. Go to 80 stunning cover options and click on it. It's going to open us up in Dropbox. Now, if you get a pop-up screen or a blue bar telling you you need to install Dropbox or pay for Dropbox, do not. Um, I have already paid for it for my customers, so you do not have to have any of that on your iPad. Just follow these steps and you'll be just fine. So what we need to do now that it's on our screen, we're gonna find the download um, link right here. So on the left top here, double click download. It's going to give you a window in the center of the screen here. Go ahead and click the blue download. It starts to download and you can tell it's doing it up here on the right, the fourth icon in, there's a blue bar happening here under the circle with the arrow pointing down. When that's 100% full, the blue bar will disappear and that's how you know that it's been downloaded. So we're almost there and it's just about done. There we go. Now I'm going to find my planner. I have mine in GoodNotes, so I'm going to click on the GoodNotes app it's going to open my planner and I need to duplicate the front page of my planner, which right now this is what my planner looks like. Let me go back to the actual GoodNotes app. This back arrow here will take me back to the main page in GoodNotes. And this is the planner that I want to add the cover to. If you did not want to add a planner cover, you don't have to. The planner will work just fine as it, as it is. But if you would like to, go ahead and tap on that planner. And then we need to duplicate this page. And we do that by going to the second icon on the left, these four little squares, go ahead and tap those. And we're going to duplicate this first page. So we have two of them and one will be our cover. So click the little down arrow and then click add before page. It's on the top of this drop down here. And then a picture of the page shows up. Just click on that picture and it drops you in a second one. So now we wanna work on this first page here. So we're going to click on it. It's going to open and now we need to find our files on our iPad where we stored our 80 covers. And I do that by using the dock on the bottom and then I find my files um, folder icon. So right, it's not showing one of these big ones. If you don't see it with one of your big icons here, go ahead and click on the right. And this is kind of a pile up of all your icons. And mine is right here. Sometimes it'll be in different spots. Don't worry if it's somewhere else, just put your finger on the blue folder, slide all the way over and then let go. So it's going to show your um, download here. If it didn't show, you could hit this back button at the top and hit it again and go to recents and you click on recents and there's my 80 covers zipped. So I'm going to click on, click on the zip to unzip it. I already unzipped a folder because sometimes my download speeds are slow and sometimes they're fast. So for this video, I downloaded already. So you would unzip and then you will wait to get your 80 covers unzipped and that white line will keep working and then it'll take another minute after it works to upload everything. So we're gonna just click on this one that's already done so I can show you quickly. So this is my 80 covers and you can scroll, scroll, scroll and look at all 80 of them. But for this video, let's just go ahead and pick one. Put your finger on a cover, slide it over to your um, planner cover. Then we're gonna get rid of the split screen by taking our finger and sliding over to the right. And now we're gonna expand this cover to fit. What I usually do is take my fingers and pinch to make my cover as small as I can like this, so it's a little bit smaller. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to, ex well, I shouldn't have put it in the corner. I'm going to expand it and then I can put it in the corner as I go. You can cover your tabs if you want to, or you don't have to, it's just personal preference. I have some people that cover tabs, some people that don't. So you keep expanding until you get your cover to the size you want. And when you're done with that, just click on the Apple um, pencil icon up here to turn off your toolbar. Well, make sure your Apple Pencil's on. <laughs> you click on that. Oh my goodness, am I not on? 
Oh, I think I need to charge. Okay, so now I'm back to my planner, and if I wanted to use my hyperlinks, this is what the cover would look like. Let me go back to Good Notes. So there's your cover, and don't worry, there's always going to be this little white um, kind of shadow showing. If you look at all the things inside your note, uh, good notes, they all have that little white shadow on one side. I don't know how you get rid of that, so don't worry about it because when you open your cover, if you tap on it, you don't see it. So it's just in that little thumb tab of your uh, good notes. So once your planner cover is on, then you swipe over to your first page and now your hyperlinks will work as long as you don't have your toolbar on and then you can navigate through your planner like normal. So I hope this video helped. Thanks for watching.